In my opinion, one of the trickiest and most confusing aspects of pandas is understanding how to make the changes that you make to pandas data objects permanent. To illustrate this, let's recall what happens when you perform a sort on a standard Python list. Here is a list that I've made containing the names of the days of the week. I can sort this list by applying the sort method to it. Notice, however, that there is no output below the box when I run this cell. The reason is that carrying out the sort command does not actually return anything. Instead, it replaces the original list with the sorted list. I can see this if I run the next cell to display the list. Now the list is in alphabetical order instead of the order of sequence as I originally created it. The sort values method that can be used on pandas series is similar to the sort method that we saw for a generic Python list. However, its behavior is somewhat different. When I run this cell, I see that it has returned the sorted series. However, this was not operating on the original series. Rather, it's simply returning a view of the series in sorted form. The original series remains unchanged, and I can see that if I run this cell to display the original series. How can I make changes like this be permanent? There are several ways that I can deal with this problem. One is to create a named object under a different name and to assign a copy of this sorted view to the new name. So now I have a second series that is the original series in sorted form. And any changes that I make to this sorted series will not affect the original series because I created a copy of it. On the other hand, if I simply want to replace the original series with the sorted one, I can just reassign the view that is sorted to the same name as the original series, and the original series will be replaced by it. There is actually another way to replace the original series by the modification, and that's to use the in place equals true argument when you carry out the sort values method. Notice that if I use the in place equals true argument, there isn't any return value. Instead, the operation is carried out on and replaces the original series. In this line, I'm going to recreate the series and then sort it in place. So here's the original unsorted series, and here is the same state series after it was sorted in place. There are alternative ways to carry out the sort. For example, if I want the values to be sorted in reverse alphabetical order, I can use the ascending equals false argument. So now they have been sorted in reverse alphabetical order. However, I have only done this on a view. The original series was not changed. If I want, I can also sort by index instead of sorting by value and we can compare the two here. When I sort by value, we can see the values are in alphabetical order, but if I sort by index, I can see that the indices are in alphabetical order, which is not exactly the same order as above.